On the 30th of September, 2022, Burkina Faso's army captain, Ibrahim Traore, ousted the government of Paul Andre Damiba, which was also a result of a coup just nine months earlier in January 2022. The cause of the military's intervention is an Islamist insurgency in the north of the country, which has only gotten worse with each successive putsch. Two million people have been displaced due to the violent Islamists who now occupy 40% of the country. The wave of Islamist revolts and subsequent coups d'etat in the Sahel can be traced back to the Libyan civil war. After the defeat of Muammar Gaddafi, many foreign mercenaries who fought on his side returned to their homelands armed to the teeth. Meanwhile, the mutiny leader, Captain Ibrahim Traore, has been declared the interim leader of Burkina Faso. An overnight curfew has been imposed to counter protests in the capital, Ogadougou. During the coup, Damiba was accused of hiding at a French military base from which he was allegedly plotting his return to power. Riots ensued at the French embassy, with the angry Bukinabs rejecting French military intervention, which has failed to stop the Islamist revolts thus far. The instability has increased pro-Russian sentiments. This is especially so since a similar Islamist insurrection was crushed in Mali with the help of a Russian mercenary outfit, the Wagner Group. Events in Burkina Faso recall the deterioration of relations between France and Mali in the recent military revolts in that country, which led to the ousting of France's ambassador in Mali. Burkina Faso has been plagued by coups throughout its modern history, with eight successful military takeovers since independence from France in 1960.